see Madhava is uh, well known for the infinite series. See in fact, uh, one of the most crucial achievements of Newton which is acclaimed by scholars, he is coming up with this infinite series for the first time. So, this infinite series if one were to look at historically, so it cannot go to Madhava. So, to express something as sum of so infinite terms. So, this I think the credit goes to Madhava and he did for this pi function, so which we call as pi today. So, the ratio of circumference to diameter. So, this actually has been encoded in the form of a verse. So, the verse actually is a very small verse Vyase Vaditi Nihate Rupa Hrte Vyasa Sagara Bhihate Trisharadi Vishama Sankhya Bhaktam Rinam Swam Prathakramat Kuryat. So, this actually gives the infinite series what we call today as Grigari Libanis series. It is very easy to understand the series also from this verse. Vyasa essentially refers to diameter. Vyase Vaaridhi Nihate. So, Vaaridhi is um, referring to ocean. So, in a system called the Bhuta Sankhya system, we used certain elements to refer to certain numbers. For instance, Veda, it is well known it is 4. When you say Netra, so it refers to 2. So, this is Bhuta Sankhya system. In this Bhuta Sankhya system, any synonym of ocean also refers to uh, number 4. Because I mean land is uh, assumed to be surrounded by water in all four sides. I mean it could be in this sense. So, this is Pancha Buddha, but that would be five, right? So yeah, see no no the issue is we only refer to ocean, not okay. water. Okay. Yeah. So ocean, so it uh, represents number four and any synonym samudra, so varidhi, ratnakara, so all of them will refer to ocean. So, here he uses the word varidhi, vyase varidhi nihate, nihate means multiply. So, you multiply the diameter by 4. Then he says rupa hrte. So, rupa in the same Bhuta Sankhya system refers to number 1. So, it can be very easily understood because the word rupa refers to form. The form of every entity in this world is unique. So, therefore, they have used the word rupa to refer to number 1. Rupa hrte means divided by 1. So, this is the first term in the series. Vyasa Sagara Abhihate, again Sagara is used, Vyasa Sagara is diameter times 4. So, you have to keep this as numerator. Then the denominator of all these terms is given in the second half of the verse. 3 Sharadi Vishama Sankhya Bhaktam, 3 is 3. So, it just happens to be same in English and Sanskrit, 3. Shara refers to 5, Shara is arrow. So, it refers to phi in Bhuta Sankhya. Trishara Adi means etc. So, this actually very clearly tells you that the first denominator happens to be 1, the next is 3, the next is 5 and Adi is etc. So, which means all the odd numbers from the denominator and the numerators is 4D. So, Trishara Adi Vishama Sankhya Bhaktam is divided. So, now this series is actually an alternating series. The first term is positive, second term is negative and then positive, negative and so on. This has also been stated very clearly, Rinam Swam, Rina is basically minus, Swam means my own, so it is addition. So, Rinam Swam Prathak Kramat Kurya, so Kramat means in an orderly fashion, you keep on putting this plus minus, so then you get this infinite series. So, this series does not terminate, is indicated in the verse itself, Visharadi Vishama Sankhya Bhaktam, you keep on doing. So, it does not say that it is a terminating series and it is an infinite series. So, this is a brilliant contribution. In fact, uh, Leibniz has been highly praised by the western world for coming up with this series, infinite this, infinite, this infinite series. So, in fact, it is quite interesting to understand and appreciate this also. So, to understand that see there is a finite number here and you are representing this finite number or rather a certain uh, geometrical uh, ratio by purely some arithmetic sequence. So, this is a sequence of numbers, so which is beautifully integrated with the geometry of the circle. So, it is in this sense that you can capture some number by the sum of infinite numbers and you can capture only this way is also an interesting part. So, this is something which is remarkable uh, with contribution of Madhava. Madhava has also contributed which is much more uh, appreciable compared to the series 
um, in the form of obtaining fast convergent approximations of this series. This series for instance is a terribly slowly converging series, excruciatingly slowly converging. So, if you want to find out the value of pi correct to 4 decimal places, then you have to consider 10 to the power of 5 terms, almost one order higher in this series. So, it is humanly impossible to do that. So, what is interesting is Madhava has actually given the value of pi correct to 11 decimal places. In fact, there is a verse. So, Vibuddha Netra Gajahi Hutashana Triguna Veda Bhavarana Bahavaha Nava Nikarva Mite Vriti Vistare Paridhimana Midam Jagadur Buddhaha. So, Jagadur Buddha, this verse is basically attributed to Madhava. But what is interesting to note in this verse is the first line basically gives you a 12 digit number and the denominator uh, 12 digit or 13 digits and the denominator is 2 into 10 to the power of 11 Nava Nikarva. So, Vritti Vistare. Um, so, this number when it divides, so you get a value correct to almost 11 decimal places. The last quarter of the verse is Paridhimanam idam Jagadur Buddhaha. Paridhimanam is this is value of the circumference, measure of the circumference. Jagaduhu means state, Buddhaha means wise people. See, if this verse were to be given by Madhava as quoted in Shankaravarya's work, so Madhava basically tells that this is what wise people say. So, I do not know whether this should be still ascribed to somebody who was before Madhava or this, this Jagadur Buddha has to be understood in a different way. So, it is not quite clear. But anyway, so the other fast convergent approximations are definitely uh, ascribed to Madhava. So, wherein he says you can terminate the series at whichever point you want, you add a certain term to that and uh, that is that correction term is actually called um, um, Antya samskara. <laughs> so, Antya samskara in the sense of yeah. see, now we say in the last ritual, it should yeah. not be misunderstood. <laughs> so, here this is the last samskara that you have to do in order to get uh, it is done towards the end of the series. So, it is in that sense it is called Antya samskara. So, you add that and within uh, 50 terms you will be able to with by considering simply 50 terms and adding this uh, correction term, you will be able to get the value of pi correct to almost 11 decimal places. 11 this is really amazing. So, but this is something which has been very systematically explained in the text of Yukti Bhasha as to how they arrived at this n correction term, which actually takes care of the rest of the series, approximates. So, this is a very interesting contribution. And Madhava is also attributed with the infinite series for sine and cosine functions. So, trigonometric functions as well as this arc tangent function or pi whatever you want to call. So, these are uh, signal contributions of Madhava. Yeah, so they would have definite uh, uh, independent, see this uh, question of independence obviously Gregory and Leibniz it has been settled I think in the western world that they discovered independently that is why they decided that they will give both the names to the series. But there has been a certain theory which has also been uh, put forth proposed by uh, C. K. Raju. I mean, uh, so, he says that uh, there is every possibility that uh, this is Jesuits who came to have trade, uh, so who had trade with uh, Kerala around that period particularly in that Malabar region. So, they might have carried this knowledge to the western world, but uh, currently I think we will not be in a position to uh, make a statement. Uh, with uh, complete certainty that this is how what happened. Yeah.